What was my freshman year of college really like, you ask? You're in for a treat. Sup, it's Sydney, and I think it's about time that we dissect my freshman year of college because it's over now. I would also like to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, so I'm going to talk about them a little bit after the recap, and they're super awesome. So, In case you're unaware, I was a freshman this past school year at Penn State University. I don't know how you wouldn't know because it's honestly my only personality trait at this point. I did something kind of similar to this after my first week of college. I'll have that link down below. A lot of you guys really liked it. But for this video, I'm going to do a month by month recap. So it's going to be a little bit less specific, but I have a lot of material to cover. So you might as well get out your pens and pencils and start taking notes because this will all be on your final exam and it's worth 40% of your grades. So. I just gave myself war flashbacks. August, move-in day, syllabus week, the beginning of... How? Just kidding, I actually liked college. I mean, there were some mental breakdowns that I could have done without, but... Basically, all of August could be summed up in what the frick is going on. You arrive to college, it's a new place, you're kind of overwhelmed, then you say bye to your whole family and you're like, peace out nerds, see you at Thanksgiving. I was very overwhelmed, but in the best kind of way, because I was just excited and everything was new, and I mean, don't get me wrong, you're gonna be stressed, like very stressed, but at the same time, Everyone else is kind of in the same boat as you, so I just kind of bounced my stress off of other people and they did the same and then it's like, woohoo, new best friends, we're all in this together. Cue High School Musical. And then you blink your eye and it's September. And let me tell you, in September-ish, moves fast. An adjustment for me was the fact that in high school, a lot of my core classes like math and English and those types of things were a full year long and you get to college and it's like 15 weeks of just pure grind. I hate myself for saying that. Four or so weeks pass by and all of a sudden it's exam season and I just wasn't really used to that because high school moved at kind of a slower pace and you know waited for all the ducklings to get in a row and you knew what was going on whereas college you just kind of get started and don't stop. Academics aside, because I mean, who even cares about those? I mean, I do, because I want a degree, but... Those aside, do you know what September means? Football. <sighs> a girl loves football. Penn State literally has the best student section and every game you go to is just so hype and I just... Everything's great and fun and the atmosphere is amazing until we lose. And we lost the whiteout game, which at Penn State, it's a tradition for one of the bigger home games where you play a team that you don't really like, <clears throat> Ohio State. Everyone wears white. You kind of go all out and it looks so sick and awesome. And anyways, we lost that game and I was not doing too well. I probably need to stop relying on football for emotional support because when we lose, I just, die. That's a personal problem though. I'm working on it. That's why I'm not working on it. Also in September, I had econ and your girl just did not do too well on her first exam. And that's probably something that a lot of people are going to experience. I just... It hit me hard. In high school, I was very used to getting all A's and then maybe one B. And when I got my first exam grade back, I was in shock a little bit. I came out of my first econ exam in tears because I didn't really finish it. I knew that I did poorly on it. I immediately called my mom and just started sobbing to her and I walked back to my dorm in the pouring rain and I just thought I was so stupid and that college wasn't it and blah 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 blah. Looking back on it now, I think it's hilarious because I was being so dramatic. If anyone has security footage of the Osman laboratory where I took that exam, if you could just zoom into me and send me that footage, that would be awesome because it's so funny. I ended up being fine. I'm only going to say this next part not to brag, but just to prove that I was fine and that you will be fine if something like that happens to you. I got a 3.8 my first semester, so clearly it didn't affect me that much. When Big Sean said, last night took a nail, but tonight I bounce back, 
I felt that because that's what that whole month was like for me. October had more football games. We had the stripe out game, which was super cool. Even though we lost that game too. Not salty about it. Very salty about it. Ooh, fun anecdote. In October was when my roommate struggles really became a problem. They had covered the smoke detector with a plastic bag illegally so that they could make food in the dorm room illegally and October is the month when I discovered that. Also this was the month where the housing lady came by and asked if we had a bug problem and no one knew what was going on and I still don't know if my room had bugs or not but I left a note on the bathroom window that they didn't respond to. I'm gonna be honest I have no idea what happened for the entire month of November. Like you just do a lot of school in November so I think I just kinda zoned out and did that. I will say we had two snow days in November and everyone was super hyped because I guess it's super rare to get snow days in college, but we ended up getting like four more later in the semester, so people do wild stuff when it's snowing. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Then came December and December was so fun for one week. And then it sucked. In the beginning, everyone is just in such a good mood because the holidays are around the corner, you're just in such good spirit, everything is great, and then finals week happens. Everyone's favorite holiday. What happened during finals week was everyone else left, except for my friend Emily, because we both had the calculus final at 8 a.m. on Friday, the last day of finals week. We studied for at least 35 hours for a multiple choice test with only 25 questions. And I got several bloody noses throughout the week. <laughs> it was so fun. Took the exam, thought I failed, freaked out, got it back, got a 92, did well in the class, moved on. That was the first semester. And we came back for January. In January, there was even more snow and people did even weirder things in the snow. Really got back on that grind. I was taking 17 credits, which was more than my previous semester. So I kind of got on top of everything really fast, you know, props to me, way to go Sydney. And most importantly in January, my now friend Kelly had transferred to Penn State and we met and all of us became really good friends. She had gone to Florida State in the fall, but then transferred to Penn State for the spring and forever, because we're never letting her leave. Hi, Kelly. Funny story on that, my friend Taylor had a not so great roommate her first semester, and then her roommate, without telling her, actually posted their room up on the roommate exchange board and just changed out of her room randomly, but no one was really complaining, she was something else. So that left Taylor without a roommate and then whenever spring semester came and Kelly transferred, the university put them together. Thank you Penn State, you at least got one roommate situation right. And then came February, which I can best describe as excited exhaustion. In February at Penn State there's this thing called THON, which raises a ton of money to help children with pediatric cancer. They do research, they support the families. It's this awesome, huge thing. Dancers sign up and everyone raises a ton of money and then the dancers dance for 46 hours straight without a break or sleeping or sitting down. It's crazy. Thon is a huge deal at Penn State and it's also the largest student-run philanthropy in the entire world. And this year they raised 10.6 million dollars. It's insane. I didn't dance at THON because it is a really selective process, but I did raise money for THON and I was in an organization that's associated with THON, so I did stuff for that. But next year, I really, 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 really want to dance. I did visit THON though, and I probably spent 25 or 30 hours there, so I didn't really get much sleep either. Even though you get like no sleep during THON weekend and you kind of slowly start to die throughout the weekend, it is the best time of your life and just I can't wait till next year. Also I moved dorm rooms in February 
It was funny because I emailed the housing people and I was like, listen, like, I gotta get out of here, please help. And that was actually right before Thon Weekend, so they said they probably weren't gonna process it until after Thon Weekend, which I was like, thank God, because then I can actually get my stuff together and move out. Uh, no. They processed it on Friday, and that meant that I had three days to move out, and Thon is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, I moved out Monday. <laughs> Also in February, apparently a lot of stuff happens, was St. Patty's Day to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. In February, I don't ask the questions anymore. Then March, and the first week of March was spring break, and then right as you get back, it's just instant death. Funny story, so everyone on campus is just so collectively tired at this point, that me and my friend Shreya had 8 a.m. statistics and we both went to class and showed up, but she fell asleep. And we used these things called a clicker in big lectures and you basically just hit the answer for whatever questions on the board and then you can get participation for the day. And she was asleep, so I clicked her buttons for her. <laughs> Please don't report me to academic integrity. It's just so funny because she literally got up and made it there and then just died. Don't worry, she woke up for the next question. Or maybe it was like three questions later, but... I didn't have a ton of mental breakdowns in March, but I can say with confidence that I didn't get a lot of sleep and was overall just studying pretty much the entire time. In fact, when actual St. Patrick's Day rolled around, I spent the entire day studying in the library, so... I'm sure the Irish would be proud of me. <laughs> April. Ooh. April. April was 50% yay and 50% pure mental breakdowns. I had so many exams in April that I think by the end of the month I had two brain cells to my name. April is just a lot because everything is wrapping up so there's a lot of school and academic things going on but it's also starting to get nice outside and there's so many other things and it's just like your brain didn't even sleep for the entire month of March. How's it gonna recover for April? April also had formal with the gals, which was obviously fun because we just ate chicken nuggets and jammed out to the Jonas Brothers because we forced them to play their songs. And also, Penn State has blue-white in the spring, which is their spring football game. It's just a scrimmage game. And that was obviously really fun because my little insane football side got to come out. But the most difficult and worst part about April by far is realizing that it's all about to end. As much as I hated random dudes actually physically falling on me during football games when I'm trying to watch the game and having to stay an entire week by myself basically for a stupid calc final and getting random bloody noses and walking to class in the rain because it never stops raining there. It's just sad when it's over. I wouldn't want to trade all that stuff for anything. If you're going to college soon, let me tell you, take advantage of the time you have because although it seems stressful in the moment, you're gonna get through it and then you're gonna miss it and then you're gonna have sad boy hours like I'm having right now. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And then May. I was only at college for one day of May because then I got to go home, but it was a very sad day because I had to say bye to all my friends and it was just depressing, honestly, because you realize that you have to spend multiple months apart from all of these people that you've been spending every day with. And then you have to worry about what's next. Like, what are you gonna do without all of these people? What are you gonna do for the entire summer? Essentially, May is existential crisis time. If you didn't watch my last video, then you wouldn't know that I'm taking two classes because I have this need to be productive. I'm also traveling this summer, but another thing I'm doing to kind of keep my mind sharp and also learn new things over the summer and, I don't know, not go insane from not doing anything is I'm going to be using Skillshare. Skillshare is this really cool site that has over 25,000 classes about anything from design to business, so I think I'm going to be looking at some of the video editing classes because I don't know what I'm doing. I also think I want to try the photography class because my Instagram is just... 
not popping at the moment because I'm terrible at it, so hopefully they can teach me some things. There's classes for everyone. I really want my brother to do one of the animation classes because he wants to work at Pixar, so you know, kind of setting them up for success. Of course I have the hookup for you guys, so Skillshare is giving away free two month unlimited access trials to the first 500 people who click the link in my description and then after that it's only $10 a month. It's a lot cheaper than college, so let me tell you that. <laughs> Tuition bills will be the death of me. Whether you want to just pick up something new over the summer or maybe even further your career, if you're interested, hit the link in the description because learning is fun, kids. Yeah, that probably didn't convince you. I'm the only nerd around here. All right, fellas, that's the end of the video. I was originally gonna do this video in a bit of a different style. I was gonna actually do some advice type stuff but I figured I would save that for later in the summer, right before college is starting up in most places. So if you guys want to see that video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're the same username because I'm not creative. I've had the camera on too long. Bye.